Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, Glance for Live Person. My name is John Wall, and I'll be the moderator of the session today. <clears throat> In just a second, I'll be handing off the presentation to Tom Scontras, the VP of Sales and Marketing here at Glance. Um, he'll be talking about uh, the partnership Glance with Live Person and then running through a couple demo scenarios. And we'll take questions at the end of the session. It'll be open for uh, uh, Q&A, so whatever you'd like to learn about, we can uh, uh, handle at the end of the session. So with that, I think we're about ready to start. Um, I'm going to hand over the presentation to Tom, and the floor is yours. Thanks so much, John, for the introduction, and thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, as John mentioned, we just want to take 15 or 20 minutes to talk a little bit about Glance and live person and then the combination of the two, and then uh, save the last uh, handful of minutes to walk you through a couple of um, demonstrations of the product, but hopefully leave plenty of time for your, uh, for your questions. So. Let's go, get, uh, go ahead and get started. So I, I know we probably have a lot of great uh, Glance customers on the phone. Thanks for joining us and maybe some folks who aren't so familiar with Glance. And if not, uh, we're a great company based here just outside of Boston, Massachusetts in the lovely town of Arlington. Been here for uh, several years and tens of thousands of customers have used the service around the world. Um, about 2,500 to 3,000 unique, uh, unique customers. A couple of years ago, uh, what we decided to do with our, our standalone award-winning services, take those APIs and start to develop um, integration into, into solutions that were customer-facing, so CRM, any communication platform, maybe for the contact center. And the first couple that we've launched here are uh, Glance for Salesforce.com. And if you weren't on the event last month, we had a similar webinar where we demonstrated Glance for Salesforce. And you can find that on our website. Sure, John Wall will uh, pass on that information later. And today we're here to talk a little bit more about uh, Glance for Live Person. So um, looking forward to walking through this presentation with you. The first kind of converse, conversation I think we all have to have, uh, as we have it here at Glance, is you know what what is going on in the world of customers and prospects, selling and servicing. In the last uh, handful of years, four or five years, um, the advent of mobile and uh, you know apps on mobile phones, social networks, has really changed the uh, game uh, for us as sales experts, marketers, and customer service agents. In the sense that. Today, customers, uh, they can get information 724 from anywhere. Not only can they you know, get the information, but they can interact with their peer groups, for example, on LinkedIn. And uh, in that environment with a slower economy maybe that many of them wanted uh, in recent years, they're also very stressed out in the sense that they have, you know, they're being asked to do two, three times as much with half the budget. So you combine all those elements, and customers are uh, really in a unique position where even though they are pressed for time wearing many hats, limited budgets, they can today probably get more information uh, about your service or your product or your competitor service product literally at their fingertips you know, from any device. So it's an interesting um, situation that we face as, um, as vendors. You know, before that time occurred, we, not that there was always plenty of time, but there certainly were processes in place. And that process were more series of planned events, whether that was planned follow-up meetings to uh, train somebody or give customer support call. Um, or if it was a planned set of events to maybe pitch a product or a proposal and then sit down and go through negotiations. Um, these things have definitely morphed. So where customers used to give us allotments of time on a you know sort of a set schedule, uh, today they don't make decisions like that anymore, nor do they seek service or onboarding or training. Really what happens is there's been literally hundreds of dynamic tra uh, you know, conversations that it, or interactions, frankly, that, it, that take place every day. And so the viewpoint has changed significantly. And, and the question really is, is how can we as sellers, marketers, and support agents adapt to really you know, uh, be prepared for this socially mobile enabled age that we, we've entered into? It's quite dynamic. So one of the ways that here at Glance uh, we're providing solutions to our customers to address that issue is through key partnerships. And none is more key today than our partnership with Live Person. Let me take just a second and explain to you a little bit about uh, who Live Person is if you're not already familiar. Live Person is the dominant market leader for both B2B and B2C chat uh, in the online chat space. Uh, they continue to evolve their program and their platform to add things beyond chat like click the call. Uh, dynamic push marketing programs, and a number of other unique innovations. And uh, we're excited and thrilled to be uh, you know, a member of that community. To my point earlier about, however, uh, meetings have really gone or, or customer interactions have moved from planned sets of events to dynamic real-time communication. If you think a little bit about LivePerson and uh, some of the simple stats that they have up, 
Uh, for example, live person just in a month alone serves up over 1.6 billion site visits through their customers. And of those site visits, they actually offer more than 17 million chat engagements in a 30-day period. That's, uh, uh, to use my 17-year-old's term, that's insane, Dad. So, I mean, that is absolutely insane amount of volume. And as we work with them, we continue to see, you know, those numbers grow in linear fashion. So, uh, when we sat down with Live Person about a year or so ago now, it made perfect sense to take our award-winning screen sharing and co-browsing service and add it into that equation as a second variable um, so that if you're already engaged, for example, as, as an agent within a chat console, uh, you could simply click a glance button that's probably very familiar to many of you on the phone today and begin to add to that one-dimensional chat a second dimension, a very powerful dimension of visual collaboration, as we like to call it here at, um, here at Glance. Uh, and, and you can imagine what the benefits or the outcome uh, is, not only for the customer, but also for the chat and the management uh, of that organization. And we're seeing these types of res results uh, in the brief time we've been to market. Uh, you know, whether you're looking at the, in you know, the increasing the quality of time that agents can, chat agents in this case, can uh, spend with visitors to the website, uh, you're obviously increasing conversion rates from people that hit the website as uh, first-time comers into a pipeline conversion rates as far as shopping cart is concerned, first chat resolutions of uh, if you're using it in a service capacity, maybe someone's stuck on a website somewhere and they've got a, an issue and you need to help them through. Glance for Live Person enables all of these things, so we're seeing uh, these statistics within this customer base continue to you know, drive up. And of course, from a management or operations perspective, I think it's uh, probably obvious at this point to everybody on the phone that you know, from high level of driving up customer satisfaction scores, uh, to increasing revenue or competitive advantage, all of these things, you know, they come into the picture as um, we uh, partner with Live Person and, and see these two uh, technologies come together seamlessly. So what I wanted to do now, I know uh, we're only about 10 minutes into the call, but what I wanted to do here is play for you. We're going to uh, see if we can get through two uh, use case scenarios. And the two use case scenarios are one, well, first of all, I should mention they're essentially both fabricated. Uh, we have a high degree of sensitivity around our customers uh, uh, and those relationships. So what we did in preparation for this demonstration today was we took our internal development environment and recorded a couple of different scenarios. Uh, these uh, clients that we're going to show aren't actually customers, but we just thought they were highly familiar and might make most sense to you know, des uh, best uh, uh, show an example of the ways in which you can use uh, Glance for Live Person. So the first one is uh, uh, probably a familiar website to, to many us, of us, which is um, is the Apple website. And just for briefly, uh, before we get too far into this, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show somebody uh, experiencing Glance from Live Person from the customer's perspective. So here you can already see I've started the video, and uh, this is just a mocked up web page. Of course, you can work with us and directly through our partner Live Person and understand the number of different types of chat scenarios and customizations and, and uh, user interfaces that they offer. Here is just the standard chat. Um, that we have in an in-house setup. So we just did this for uh, demonstration purposes. But you'll see once I click play here that as we walk through this, um, this customer is going to be uh, on, uh, on uh, apple.com and they're going to be searching for some information about an iPad and specific an iPad cover. And at some point in time, they'll uh, go back and forth here within the chat viewer, which everybody is probably very familiar with. And uh, uh, the customer will essentially tell the agent, hey, I'm sort of stuck. I'm looking for this particular type of cover. You know, can you help me out? Um, so let's go ahead and play it. And uh, to save some time here, I'll fast forward in certain sections where uh, I think uh, some of the more value demonstrable material exists. So I'm going to go ahead and push play. And what you'll see here is um, John has clicked, or the agent here, excuse me, the customer here has clicked Start Chat. And uh, Apple obviously notices that. In this case, I'm just mimicking Apple. The Apple agent says, how can I help you out? And then, of course, the customer says, hey, I'm, I have these issues. Looking, I'm looking for an iPad. And specifically, um, the agent comes back and forth. They're just trying to better understand you know, what it is exactly that they're looking for with that iPad. And if I scroll forward here to you know, just under a minute, I think what you're going to find is, um, is that uh, Pardon me. You'll find that uh, what's what's occurred is that um, this particular customer is looking for an iPad uh, cover 
for uh, his or her daughter and uh, looking for a gift. And in fact, uh, the question then comes up from the agent perspective, who is represented by, by not my name here, Tom. Would it be okay if I actually just showed you the iPad cover? So how do we move from this, you know, very, very powerful, but yet one-dimensional chat format and add into it uh, the visual demonstration of the product? So I'm going to go ahead and go back and push play. And what occurs at this point uh, that you cannot see, but I'm happy to answer questions about this a little bit later on, from the agent console, uh, the agent will simply click one button that says show, and when they click that one button that says show, uh, this experience here dramatically uh, changes. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I've gone ahead, as an agent's perspective, I've clicked show, and now what you'll see is seamlessly the chat is integrated now within the screen share or co-browse session. And you'll see a yellow, slight yellow border around the screen that tells the agent and the customer that they are now both viewing or co-browsing the same uh, set of web pages together. And again, never impacted the chat session. We continue to go back and forth. Some of you may notice uh, there's some cryptic messaging in here. That's simply because we're within a glance development environment here as we uh, built this video. Uh, but none of this would, of course, none of this cryptic type of information would show up. Um, continue to go back and forth. And I'll go ahead and hit play. And what you'll see is the dialogue continues on the left, and, and the agent We'll continue to ask questions. Hey, can you now see my screen? And of course, the customer says, yep. And uh, what I'll do here for just a second is I'll scroll forward to a point where uh, they actually get over to the iPad. I think it's around a minute 50 here. And I'll leave it right about here. And you'll see at this point what happens is they've gotten to the actual iPad cover. and. Uh, the agent confirms that you did say blue, correct? And, and then the customer comes back and says, yep, I definitely want blue. But there's actually an interesting point here. It's tough to see here. But to the left, these colors actually say this is a, a synthetic uh, material. And to the right, it actually says that it's a, a leather-based material. Um, then what continues to happen is that the demonstration continues to move forward. And you'll see that the customer actually says, hey, can you show me how this thing works? So it's quite powerful. I'll go ahead and click play. And what you'll see here is here's the agent actually saying, just to make sure, and he's pointing, you can actually see the agent's cursor moving here, pointing out the significance between the two. And then here the customer comes back and says, hey, no worries. Actually, it's easier to clean, so let's go ahead and, and, uh, and go with the poly side. So that's good. He, uh, the agent go ahead and go, goes ahead and flips the actual color scenario to the one the customer is asking for. And then you see this is pretty cool here because the customer comes back and says, hey, how exactly does it work? And now without anything, uh, any software to download or anything, the agent just grabs a hold of that uh, smart cover and will, uh, as he says here, I'll go ahead and show you, begins to drag and demonstrate the smart cover back and forth a couple times and then ultimately shows the customer how they can actually use it as a stand and, and go ahead and, and uh, use the iPad. Here he sets up the stand. That is uh, one scenario. And this use case is really a scenario of a sales-based chat, a sales-driven chat, where something needs to be demonstrated in the case where the customer is looking to purchase something uh, but needs to get that much more information uh, from the agent, needs a, de a simple demonstration, all by the agent actually showing the customer, in this case, uh, how that works. So sh the agent in this case is showing their desktop and web browser and walking this customer uh, through that process. So uh, that's one scenario. I'm going to go ahead and stop that uh, here. And what I'm going to do now is jump over to uh, an airline reservation. Again, uh, fabricated the entire thing here as far as uh, demonstrations are concerned. So Southwest is obviously not a customer. Uh, we just chose it for a routine situation that comes up in not only many of our customers' lives, but uh, probably many of us have booked reservations online. So as we start this second scenario out, what you're going to see in this scenario is unlike the iPad uh, demonstrate what's on my screen, in this case, the customer will get stuck booking a reservation and ask for help in completing that reservation. So in this scenario, we're actually going to create a chat and then the agent's going to ask permission, is it OK if I take over your web browser and help you through the transaction? So let's go ahead and get that started. Mm -hmm. 
right here, if I pause this for a second, you'll see that that dialogue has occurred here. And then uh, the agent actually says, hey, is it OK if I take a look at the Southwest page that you're currently viewing? And we seek permission. The per even though the agent actually chats that, the customer comes back and says, yeah, sure, that's fine. What you'll see here as we move into a scenario of taking over the customer's screen, um, you'll see that the Glance integration with a live person actually asked, will ask here the customer to say, is it OK if this person uh, views and controls your screen? So right here, we allow an opt out uh, for any customer. So he's going to go ahead and say allow. By the way, we could have started this session by viewing and controlling the customer screen or viewing only. In this case, we're going to view and control. So now the process has started. The glance session is beginning to fire up. And you'll notice here that a red border, unlike before the yellow border in the Apple scenario, this is now a red border that lets the customer and the agent know that you're actually viewing the customer's experience. And of course, what's going to happen here is they'll continue to move forward in the dialogue. And the customer will tell via chat that agent you know, what it is they're trying to do. And they'll collect all the pertinent data, like, for example, what's your departure city, what's your arrival city, what are the dates of travel, um, and all of these types of scenarios. And if I grab uh, the video here and I bring this out to about just under two minutes, you'll see here that what actually happens is they now the agent is actually inputting and controlling this customer's experience. So this is the agent actually dropping down these dialogues, picking the right cities. And if you follow the, doc, follow the chat here, you'll see they, the client said Orlando, and then it said Boston. But in Boston, this scenario actually has two scenarios, both Logan or Manchester. So they ask for clarity. They actually select Logan. And then at this point, uh, after the departure date's uh, completed, you'll see something that's uh, very interesting and powerful occur here to the right. So the departure date, the client says, is July 14th and returning on the 26th. But what I want to draw your attention to this is this chat back here from the agent says, hey, you want to try to actually select the departure date uh, yourself. It seems like you, you know, have the hang of it. And the customer comes back and says, yeah, that'd be great. I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and try it. And so now, without passing any software or downloading any software, the customer now is now also learning the process of how to book their own travel through this collaborative experience, which is extremely powerful. They've gone ahead and they've gone ahead and picked the dates. And the agent essentially comes back, you're doing a great job, looks like you have the hang of it. And the customer says, that's right, I do. I'm going to go ahead and take it from here. So the transaction continues, and it ultimately ends uh, with a happy customer. It's got the right dates. But more than that, what's really happened in this scenario of booking the trip is that we've used the Glance for Live Person platform to be able to collaborate with the customer as well as train them. So the next time they come back to the site, we can increase the self-service rates on, in, in a scenario like this one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize this video and um, bring back our slides. And at this point in time, John, um, what I think it would probably be good to do is um, we're at about uh, yeah, 22 past. So we've got uh, you know, about 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes, to take any questions that uh, might exist out in the audience today. All right, that sounds good. I'm gonna, I've got a couple in the queue here. And then we'll also, um, after I grab these two or three, we'll uh, talk to Sylvia and see if there's any other callers on the line. Um, but the first line come in from a, a number of fronts basically is just, I mean, how does it work? What are the next steps to make this happen? It's a good question. It's a, it's a partnership between ourselves and live person. So I'm uh, not sure if that person who asked is an existing live person customer. Uh, if they are, I suppose even if they're not, what they can do is if they are, they should work back through their live person account executive. Um, and also, if they're working with a live person customer success manager, uh, we work very seamlessly with uh, the live person uh, uh, account executive and field personnel. So you'd contact those people, um, let them know that you're interested, and um, the APIs are uh, quite simple to get plugged in and up and running. But many existing live person environments are highly customized. So we like to have our good friends at live person definitely uh, in the loop every step of the way. If you're not already an existing live person customer, then I would suggest that you call your Glance account executive. Uh, call us here at Glance. We have the number 
um, which we can put up a little bit later, and just mention that you're on this webinar, and then we can begin to spearhead that process for you and, and bring, in the right, uh, bring in the right folks. But ultimately, uh, both, uh, once both uh, organizations are working together, it's, um, uh, it's a short time frame to actually get the plug-in up and running and, and moving forward in your environment. Okay, and I had another question just asking about other use cases. You know, how are our clients using the product? Uh, it's a good question. Um, it, we picked these two on purpose because I would say, you know, the predominant use cases are something that's demonstrable, where chat has been brought into the sales chat agent uh, side of the business uh, to promote and push more online uh, commerce through. So. Um, the predominant uh, case that we've seen is really that case where someone's online, um, they like the Apple case, are, are, are generally interested but uh, need a salesperson to help them through to better educate them so they can make a buying decision or not a buying decision. Um, and then the other major case is really a support case. I think Southwest to some degree does that, but um, uh, a scenario might be, for example, uh, someone has a new piece of software or they're trying to install it and uh, they come back to, you know, support-based page and they're looking at frequently asked questions and they just cannot figure out from the facts that exist on that, uh, on that website, you know, uh, how to move forward and do it. So in, in that case, then uh, it's much more of a tech support or uh, sort of onboarding uh, use case scenario. But I would say those, those two are, are primarily the use cases that we see. Another question, are we a certified live person partner? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, we've been uh, in market, what they call an in-market certified partner for, uh, geez, just over a year now, I believe it is, John. And uh, more recently, if you are a live person client and you're on the phone, you know that uh, they have announced um, a new platform, a version of their platform called uh, LP Connect. It's uh, fascinating. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, um, um, check out their website, check out LP Connect, uh, and we are one of the first uh, LP authorized partners to market with the LP Connect platform. Okay, and uh, we had a question come in uh, from the Twitter hashtag Glance and the number 4LP, Glance4LP. Is there any way for the customer, the guest, to take over the browser session to actually purchase the item? Uh, it's a great question. So. Um, in the second scenario that we just ran, uh, what was really going on was the agent was viewing the guest browser. So in that scenario, um, of course, the guest has uh, full control and they can do whatever they want, whether that's, uh, you know, go forward, put in credit card information and actually complete a transaction. Other ways we've seen people do it or customers of this uh, product do it is actually the agent takes a URL to, um, they, they they co-browse together, they fill in most of the information, but then when there's sensitive information, then they then take that URL of that page that's been pre-populated and they push that through the chat window uh, so the customer can then uh, open it up in their own, you know, their own environment and complete the transaction that way. But yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely that uh, customers and visitors can complete transactions uh, and or agents can help them complete them, either or. All right, that sounds good. That will do it for us today. We will hang on the line for another minute or two in case any other questions come up. But thank you for taking the time to learn more about Glance for Live Person. And uh, Tom, thanks for doing the presentation today. Thank you, and thanks again, everybody.